I'm Pat Gunn, and we're playing Skyrim, and we are about to go and uh, take out the uh, Rebellion. Uh, let's see, where's the entrance to where I want to go? Oh, it's on the other side here. So. Okay, here are my fellow Imperial troopers. Going to want to be ready to get a Dremora Lord. I'll have my sword in my right hand. So I wonder if I actually went out there to see uh, if if I would actually find the catapults that are firing over to here. This seems like a dangerous place to be standing right now. Yes. Okay, so we are going in to Windhelm to put an end to this uh, civil war. And I'm very glad that the civil war questline didn't glitch out like it often does for me. Of course, after this, there's still a lot to do. I would like to at least finish the vampire quest line, but huh, they do have little ears on the side. Interesting. Oh, trolls have three eyes. Is that right? Looks like there's a third eye above the other two up there. Interesting. Yeah, trolls have three eyes. Who knew? And little ears. Yeah, I'm imagining they don't have very good hearing. Okay. Just summon some buddies. Okay. Let's get our shield up. Okay, and is this Rika? That might be Rika. You know, basically, what we need to do is... Yes. Oh. Ooh. on moving. So unfortunately our own use of catapults has closed off a lot of the paths in the city so you need to do a little bit of work to find your way. You need to do a little bit of work to find your way to the uh, castle. Aha! Yeah, that is pro tip. You do not want to be the one with bow and arrow when somebody is coming right at you with a sword. You're not going to generally survive that. Shoot, where am I going? I am coming around here and heading straight. Ooh. Well, fortunately, again, I'm very well armored. Oh, 
Okay. See. Okay. Looking good. Oh, we're getting close. Okay. And here we are. Secure the door. Out, sir. Up, storm bulk. You are guilty of insurrection, murder of imperial citizens. The assassination of King Torek and high treason against the Empire. It's over. Not while I'm still breathing, it's not. Oh, you won't be a big. You won't be more than a uh, speed bump, dude. I'll never surrender Skyrim into the hands of a corrupt and dying Empire. Skyrim doesn't belong to you, Ulfric. No, but I belong to her. Enough! You are traitors and will die traitors' deaths. Stand down and face public execution, or advance and face summary execution by my hands. It matters little to me. <coughs> Either way, I'll be sending your heads back to Cyrodiil. Well, what are we waiting for? For the Emperor! <laughs> Well, Alfred, you can't escape from me this time. Any last requests before I send you to... to wherever you people go when you die? Sovngarde, sir. Right. Well? Let the Dragonborn be the one to do it. It'll make for a better song. Song or not, I just want it done. Here, use my sword to do it. I made sure to sharpen it for the occasion. Daedric Sword of the Vampire. Okay. Talos be with you. What was that, Lydia? Nothing. Just saying goodbye. <laughs> Makes sense. Acts of cowardice. Well, the men will be expecting some kind of speech, and we'll need to hand the city over to that free winter fellow. Runwolf, yes, I've sent men to protect him and bring him here. Windhelm. Be the government quickly if we are to prevent more violence. The Legion will be staying here for quite some time. I don't expect there to be any further violence. Oh, and Leggett. It's been an honor to have you at my side. As a token of my appreciation. I want you to keep my sword. And now to deliver a speech. Okay, so. We have ended the Civil War. And brought peace to Skyrim. Well, for now. Let's go outside and see uh, General Tullius' speech. The rebellion is over. Ulfric Stormfront <gasps> is dead. Yeah! His head will be sent to Cyrodiil, where it will adorn a spike on the walls of the Imperial City. Rah. Let this day be a final warning to all who would still call themselves Stormcloaks. We are turning the city over to Brunwolf Freewinter, an honorable and faithful man. Many of you will be staying in Windhelm to aid the Jarl in restoring order and stamping out any embers of rebellion that may still smolder here. In appreciation for your exemplary service, 
I am doubling your pay and compensation to the widows of your fallen comrades. Yay, more money! I am proud of all of you. <clears throat> all hail the Emperor. All hail his legionnaires. <laughs> I hate giving speeches. It wasn't so bad. I hope we haven't just created a martyr. There's bound to be resistance. There are many Stormcloak camps tucked away in the hills. They'll no doubt strike whenever and wherever they can. But without Ulfric to inflame their passions, they'll settle down and return to their homes eventually. I pray you're right, Lady. In the meantime, we'll continue to root them out and put them to the sword. We couldn't have done this without you. The Empire glories in your accomplishments. Come, Rika. There's still much to be done. Okay. So... Rebellion is over. We sure showed them. Yep. Thanks. Couldn't have done that without you. Storm Club. The generals put me in charge of I may under this is the land of my birth. There are those the ordinary citizens, and they should enjoy it while they can. I sus the Legion's work is if while you're out there, you stumble into any storm sure military them. camps. I expect you to destroy them. I report they are hiding. Okay, Tolius. What are you up to? I suspect Skyrim to be my home for many years. I can't say I'll ever get used to the damn cold or understand these Nords, but I've come to respect them. The harshness of Skyrim has a way of carving a man down to his true self. So I wonder what kind of bow he uses. The fiercest of the remaining rebels will continue to harass us, but by and large, the people here desire peace. What I'm not so sure about is the peace we've made with the Thalmor. But we'll keep that between the two of us, all right? Ulfric is dead and his army destroyed. There's not much more. That said, Stormcloak true believers are still... With luck, they'll soon lose heart and return to their homes and families. If not, we'll be forced to put them all to the sword. Okay, so mm -hmm. the Stormcloak remnants and the Forsworn are likely our on, only uh, remaining problems. I don't remember how long it takes or, or what needs to happen for the maps here to return to their normal form. That is, without all the flames and blocked off areas. It might just be as simple as leaving and returning, or it just might be a few days. Stinks of Ulfric's vanity. He wants to be king. That's all this is about. One man's ambition. Well, wanted to be king. Now he is. Okay, so we are going to step outside. At some point, we're going to come back and meet the new Jarl. And the new Jarl is actually a pretty cool. Uh, Pretty cool person. But for now, we have a few other things to do. Let's out, head up and talk to Arneel. Since some time back, we recharged his um, his weird soul gem uh, using uh, Dwemer Convectors, and uh, I believe he'll want it back. <clears throat> I wonder if this is uh, an emblem of the College of Winterhold, because it was on the ground, I think, as the casting target for when uh, we initially joined the college. And you, you will notice a lot of um, flags around the game for various areas, and they differ from each other. So presumably there's a lot of regional uh, symbolism in most places that you visit. Oh yeah, we will also want to swing by. Oh, hey, Chisarga, how you doing? The sands are cold, but Kajit feels warmness from your presence. Yeah, well, at some point I might come and uh, ask you to join me again.
Okay, looks like he's upstairs, so let's head up. Divine's blessed. It worked then. Let me see. Goodness. Yes. It's not perfect, but it's a close enough approximation that it should certainly suffice for initial. You've done excellent work. I'll begin preparations. Thank you again so much for this. Okay, so I'm not sure if we can take the next step. Perhaps we can go another few Okay, we can. So we'll just need to well, I think we might be able to wait for 24 hours and then maybe he'll uh then maybe he'll give us the next step in this quest. And at some point I also should swing back by my uh, by my house both to check in with my uh, with my daughter and to drop off some of my stuff. Okay, Arneel, are you around here somewhere? Maybe? No? Oh, there you are. Perhaps we can go another. Well, we might need to wait another 24 hours. The game does have a few few events that are on timers like this. I really love how much more interactive Serana is with the with the surroundings than most of the followers you can have. Although it would be pretty cool if they added those features to more followers. Oh come on, where Arneel, where are you? And it's also kind of weird because you can hear all these footsteps around you, but I imagine some of them are downstairs, maybe? Okay, where where is... Serana's over there. Um, our hero. Exactly why we're so restrictive about access to the college. We'd all have perished if it weren't for you. Taking me up on... Why don't you take a look at some of my merchandise and we'll see what kind of a deal we can make. Oh, well, I guess I do have stuff that I don't need. Unfortunately... Yeah, unfortunately, he doesn't have a lot of gold with which to buy stuff. But I can at least get some of the uh, some of the weight down. Give my regards to Carlia if you see her. Okay, where is Arneel? Where's it, Arneel? I'm sure you've made note of who's been the most helpful during your time here, Archmage. Neil, where are you? Okay, we're waiting until the evening. He's still not showing I'm up. I'm sure you've made note of who's been the most helpful during your time, Archmage. Hmm. May I just say it's a pleasure to have you leading the college, really. 
come on. Maybe he comes comes here to sleep still? I'm sure you've made note of who's been the most helpful during your time here, Arkham. That is a most novel is she dancing? Yeah, that is that is kinda weird. May I just say it's a pleasure to have you leading the college, really. Arneal, where are you? Okay, so we're going to pop over to the other tower because I know he has a workspace over there. But if he's not there, then no big deal. Uh, we'll just continue off and stop by uh, back here some other time. Man, what a view. Okay, so, I think, no, it wasn't here. There's another empty room that, oh, some more soul gems, always handy. Well, actually, no longer that handy at my level. Oh, and there's Tolfdeer's Alembic. Captain Ditz has again left it here. And some alchemy stuff, cool. Is the haps. A perfectly valid school of I'll gladly share my knowledge with you. Well, Take a look. let's see if I can unload some more of my stuff on her. Yeah, I don't need that sword. It's not all that useful to me. Nor this. Ah, wow, that's a lot of arrows. Well, if I have a hundred something orcish arrows, they're better than... Yeah, that should... And ebony arrows... I'm not going to use dwarven bo uh, bolts. Daedric arrows. Nice. Definitely don't need any of these. Nor these. Oh, so I can get some more training in I'm with her. Take a look. Nice. So yeah, this is working out to be a pretty nice deal. Probably don't need this. Uh, I don't need that, but I like to keep it just as a token. Why am I wearing a... Oh, man. I'm really not being all that smart with what I'm wearing. Probably don't need this anymore. Nor this. Okay. But yeah, I'm not wearing... Okay. So I think that, that fixes it. Now, is Arneal here? Ah, he is here. Enter is once again... I'm close, so close. You must. Fall. I don't know. I don't know. I've already just do whatever it takes to get him to stop lording this over me. Okay. So yeah, the, it, he's apparently been hanging out in that workshop rather than coming back and getting some sleep when he needs it. Who's there? Not a healthy attitude. Oh bugger! I really. Okay. So, Dramor Lord in the right hand. And dragon sword, Dramor Lord in the left hand, dragon sword in the right. Actually, should also have dragon rend equipped, because we would like to be able to force the dragon to to land whenever convenient. Okay, so. <clears throat> come on down. Come on, land. Stupid dragon. You get down here. 
get down here. Get it now while we can. Well, yeah, but the, the while we can is not happening so far. Stupid dragon won't land. Okay, there we go. Take that, schmuck. Okay. And dragons have an unusual notion of land. Apparently that doesn't include perching. Okay. Oh, I apparently have been thwacked by the dragon a little bit. I'm not gonna die like this. Take that. And... A nice cinematic way to die for Mr. Dragon. Okay. It's the end of that dragon. Oh, and it, it has some goodies. Okay, so we were heading over to talk to Enneth here. Who I think was uh, in here. So, where is Amos here? Oh, no, we went into the wrong, uh, wrong tower. <sighs> I do not uh, envy the maids have to come and sweep up dragon bits. On the other hand, maybe the dragon bits are not too stinky if I've uh, pulled all the flesh off of them. Okay, Anathir, where are you? I'm sure you've made note of who's been the most helpful during your time here, Archmage. I'm always on the lookout for all sorts of good. Oh, by the divines, you too. I've already told him I don't have it. Nothing! Nothing at all! Arniel already overpaid for... Whatever it... You're not... I set up the whole deal. Okay? The deal was already done. The thing just never... Sh I don't know. It was a simp... If you're getting in... Why is this suddenly so important anyway? I don't know! He never told me! He made most of the arrangement. If I'd known it was so important to him, I'd have charged him more business. However, as promised, I'll still be more than happy to take any stolen merchandise off your hands. <laughs> Give my regards to Carlia if you see her. Okay, so now we have a quest to go pick up the thing from the courier. And the courier presumably is a little bit northeast of Steam Crag Camp, so let's take care of that. Hmm. I'm imagining that the, the, uh, that the way vampire lords fly, it has to involve a good amount of magic, because these wings just don't look like they could lift much of anything. They're more bone than wing. <clears throat> so either vampire uh, lords are basically levitating and using the wings to maneuver, or... The wings are mostly for decoration. Oh, another dragon? Really? Oh, 
Well, is this a skill book? No, it's just a book. Uh, and a dead horse. And a giant chicken. Oh. What is going on? Oh, is there a Dawn Guard? Really? <sighs> well, those guys never give up. Is the dragon still going to be hanging around? Looks like it might be. Where am I going, actually? I'm going a little bit northeast. Okay, so that's definitely the wrong way. Northeast is this way. Well, there's a person up there. wonder what their deal is. need to hop down and walk all the way around this. Oh, this might be one of the, the hunter... There are some hunters who you'll occasionally bump into out here. Oh, don't like those eyes you got. There's a bad hunger to them. That's kind of what everyone says to vampires. Anyhow. So, looks like the cave we want should be straight up ahead, but we need to get around these, uh, these mountains. And you can see those gigantic chickens wandering by the lake. Who's there? Oh, and somebody apparently wants to fight. Oh. It is one of these guys. You know, the funny thing is, like, saber cats having silver rings, it doesn't actually seem that implausible. I have cats, and I know how much they occasionally like shiny, glittery, clinky things. I actually have a very snuggly cat on my lap right now. Okay, so... Oh. And this is our cave. Whoa, that is not a good sound. Nice. And apparently I killed it without it falling over. Well, I am not going to complain. And, oh, wait, where was the entrance? It was right around here, I think. Yeah, right here. So I imagine that might be one of the next big frontiers in gaming, finding ways to improve the immersion by giving... Or by, by improving the visuals, uh, visualization technologies, like giving us um, glasses that wrap around our eyes and that uh, that effectively um, well like we, we never really get the side vision when we're looking at a flat monitor things are going to be increasingly uh, inaccurate the, the, the further they are to the side whereas if we are wearing something that wraps around our head they would be able to better manage that and give us a feeling of immersion Ooh. Yeah, that is the fun part of being a mage. They do not last very long when uh, 
when met with the sword. Okay. Why, hello there. Oh, those guys explode when they die, so it's good to back off a little bit. So yeah, I am a vampire and I should, in theory, be a lot more worried about flame, but I have enough magic uh, resistance that it just, uh, the vulnerability just doesn't mean a lot. Oh, hi. Yeah, pro tip for, for a mage, if if you do not manage to wipe out a foe by the time they reach you, you're kind of screwed. Ooh, well this is not that fun. I, okay, here we go. Okay. Oh, sweet. Got some blood out of her. And it is very rare in the game that you'll uh, you'll find uh, that you'll end up meeting uh, frost atronox or uh, storm atronox that are fully there in the sense that they leave a corpse when they die. Okay, so is it in this room or is it somewhere else? Uh, looks like it is probably not in this room, so I need to keep on looking for it. Aha! It's up there. Keening. Okay, so that was the courier. It had been killed and disintegrated. Or, I mean, the uh, courier has had been killed and disintegrated. Not a bad pad for a cave. Okay, so let's get up and out of here. Uh, oh, let's do it this way. Whoa. Ugh. Okay, yeah, that's Kent. Not a great way to go, but... Clairvoyant spell it really is pretty pretty useful. I suppose you already have as the Dragonborn your magic compass and quest markers, but this just takes it up to the next level. Now it's not perfect, it, it doesn't work too well if you end up needing to jump off a ledge or something like that. It typically can't manage to find paths unless there's a solid ground path all the way. But then a number of situations in the game where it can't find a path are fairly f uh, few. Yeah, so it's particularly useful if you're either short on attention or if you're just getting really, really lost for some reason. Now at this point, I believe we're carrying three old, uh, Elder Scrolls with us. And each of them I think weighs 20 pounds. Two of them we can't get rid of ever. 
wait, what the, why did, oh, right, I didn't fast travel yet, my bad. But the, but the third we should be able to uh, get rid of. show you how. Okay, so I believe that he probably will still be waiting in his laboratory. Did you? Oh no. Of course you must have. Did you attempt to wield it? And you're not dead? <laughs> Gods. It's a wonder it's in one piece. Now, now we see whether my theories are correct. So I imagine he could use a little bit of light in here. I apologize if I have not been clear about my work. I didn't want to discuss it for fear this moment might never come. Everyone knows the dwarves disappeared. No one knows why. This little experiment is a first step in recreating the events of their disappearance in an effort to unravel that mystery. So I wonder if Serrano was actually alive back when the Dwemer were still around. In its place. I also lack Sunder, the counterpart to the Dagger Key. <clears throat> I am reasonably confident, however, that this will still work. I certainly don't expect it to have quite the same results. I'm no tonal architect, of course. Well, I suppose it's time, isn't it? Let's see what happens. You, uh, you may want to stand back a step or two. But please, don't leave. You've been instrumental in this process. I'd like you to see the results firsthand. For science! Right then. Uh... Hmm, that... That didn't really do anything, did it? Perhaps a little harder. I don't understand. This should produce some notable effect. <laughs> Work, damn you! Yeah. So Arneel just scrubbed himself out of uh, off of the uh, face of the planet and I got a spell that will let me summon his uh, well let me summon a shade of his in battle which is one of the dangers of mad science and the maid has not yet gotten to the dragon So yeah, we might feel a little bit bad for having contributed to him having erased himself from existence, but at least we have the ability to summon him. That's that's pretty useful. And uh Mark, all this knowledge might have been lost were it not for very funny. Did Enther put you up to this? You? Really? An elder scroll? I would be honored, beyond honored, to have such a thing here at the college. This opens up entire new realms of research for us. Oh, if only Septimus were here to see this. Thank you. Please, take this. It can't quite compare to an Elder Scroll, but still, 
You will be remembered for generations for this. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it, it's it's also a little bit heartwarming to be able to give him, um, well, to make him so happy. So, we're done with the college for a while. What is next? Well, we still have uh, vampire things to do. Uh, we have, yeah, we, we have a bunch of quests, uh, some of which are fun, some of which are just a little bit of a, uh, a bother. Um, I guess I did buy a house down here, but I'm going to go return to my daughter, uh, see how she's doing, and... Um, and I'm going to drop off some of my stuff. So I'm not sure how many more of uh, more of these I'm actually going to uh, to do since the I finished two of the three major uh, major quest lines in the game. I definitely want to complete the vampire quest line. The other ones I might just leave off uh, from the Let's Play. When the uh, Dragonborn DLC comes out, I will uh, I will be playing that. I'm not sure if I want to play that with this character or if I want to start a new character. I guess it depends on if I come to think that the content in the Dragonborn DLC is more appropriate for high level or low level characters because I'm kind of overpowered at this point. Uh, there are, there's not a lot of challenge left. Whoa. Oh, so it looks like... It looks like... There are some foes here, some thugs. Okay. Okay, so there is a bandit chief who has been... Yeah, well, took care of that. Let's... Assess the damage. Is everyone okay? Okay, you're still okay. Horse is still okay. Is my horse still okay? I don't see where my horse is. Oh, good. My horse is okay. Are the chickens okay? Well, I see at least one chicken here. I'm not sure where the other chickens are. Okay, my house, house Carl is okay. Oh no! He killed one of my chickens. No, no. <sighs> Damn it. Yeah, really, that is one of the things I don't like about the game. Um, you eventually get kind of attached to a lot of the NPCs and having them just die on you like that it's a, it's a big bummer which reminds me uh, Medesi he died in a vampire attack in Riften some time back and I would like to see if I can f bring him back to, uh, to the room with the living that spell looks dangerous here's uh Okay, so Tale of Tongues. Certainly. You're home. Fine tune. Good request. Hi, how are you? Hello, you're back. Let's play a game. Okay. What do you want to play? Uh Okay, you're it. Ha, you copy. Oh, guys, move if I'm gonna play a tag. Okay, where is she? Uh, Sophie? This next song goes out to the Dragonborn, the savior of Skyrim. 
Okay, apparently Sophie is not very good at tag. Okay, so we're going to put our excess stuff in here. Did I have any weapons to put away? Oh, why not? Fire and his scales sharp in sides. Sophie. Men ran and they cowered and they fought. Oh, let's and they put our alchemy stuff away. This was where I put stuff where I can't craft anything out of it. Where do I? Where did I put my stuff where I can't? Hey, I need a new chicken. Of course. What are we running short? I've certainly learned more here than. Of course. Chickens? Oh. Uh. Can you really not get me more chickens? Okay. That's disappointing. He can't replace the chickens. Okay, so... Don't need the diamonds. Wow, those are a lot of... Can't remember... Was it sapphires? Yeah. So, I am going to see if I can end this episode with a bit of a trick. I am again going to attempt to raise Medesi from the dead. Oh, where's... Steadfast is winter. I'm not sure where she wants, but here we go. Let's see if we can pull this off. Okay, so... This should not move to zero, 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 two, one. Oop. EA6, we got moved to 001B072. Hmm. Okay, I have no idea where. This should have worked. Um, Uh, let's see. But maybe uh, this is something that's better left off screen. So what I'm trying to do, so the ultimate uh, Elder Scrolls, uh, uh, wiki has these lists of the hex strings that, uh, that represents the, um, basically everything in the game. And in theory, you should be able to use them to resurrect uh, dead NPCs and all sorts of uh, stuff like that. But NPC ref ID. Okay, so what is the ref ID? Okay, so Move to. Oh, but this is. This is Medesi's ref ID, unless he was deallocated somehow. Will that work? Um. It's wearing a dangerous spell. Hey, sweet. 
Not well, I'm afraid. A few months. Not that there's anything that can be done about it. Okay. Good with the thieves' guild. So that I seem to have safe travels, Landstrider. Pulled uh, Medesi back into existence. Hey. Okay. It really is cute. So I brought Medesi back from uh, the dead. I'm not sure if I'll uh, if if I failed that quest for good to uh, to get the um, the things uh, for him, but that's okay. So I will have to continue the vampire quest line in the next let's play. I'm Pat Gunn, and this has been a let's play of Skyrim.